Well, it may be hard to believe, but the 4th of July party on the Esplanade is a week away. And tonight, police are letting us know what will be banned on the Oval. For the first time this year, bicycles will not be allowed through the checkpoints at the Oval or the Island Lagoon area. Riders will be allowed throughout the rest of the venue, but they cannot leave their bikes. No glass containers, cans, pre-mixed or alcoholic bev beverages, and coolers on wheels and backpacks will also not be allowed. As Christina Hager explains, these last items are becoming a serious problem for state police, causing numerous scares. Where everything's gotten smaller, lighter, faster to deploy. A robot that goes where no man should. Seek. A lab trained Good to girl. sit. Good girl, Diane. When she smells things that blow up. Their the tools getting more use now than ever before. In three years, calls to the bomb squad to check possible explosives and suspicious items like backpacks have more than doubled. And since the marathon bombings? We've seen probably an average of a 30 to 40 percent increase um, in 2013. At the Esplanade, where the stage is already being set for the pop celebration, people admit unattended bags put them on edge. You don't approach it because you're not really quite sure. I think people are a little overly anxious about it, with good reason if you lived here and, and went through all of that. It's one reason when the show begins next week, there will be no backpacks in this crowd, and through it all, the state bomb squad will be as close as it needs to be. This robot has five tiny cameras on it, so it can be the eyes on a situation, while a bomb technician can watch from a safe distance. Pricey technology, and experts say the onslaught of calls adds up to tens of thousands of dollars a year. Kind of like you look at some of the tactics that have been deployed and some of the threats we face internationally and certainly nationally now, uh, you know, it might be a bag, it might be a vehicle parked in the wrong place. We've learned the hard way not to take chances, especially at times like this. Christina Hager, WBZ News.